graph the circle. Okay, so graphing the circle here, we're first going to figure out what the center is and the radius, and then we'll use that information to embed it on the graph. So the center is going to be located at, well, we have x minus 2, so the value of x that makes this equal to 0 would be 2, and the value of y that makes this 0 would be negative 1. You can also view this as a shift right 2 and a shift down 1. So I'm going to go right 2, down 1. That's the center. I'm drawing it in red because it's not actually part of the circle. The radius is found from over here because the number on the right is going to be the square of the radius. So what number squared equals 9 or what's the square root of 9? That would be 3. So the radius is going to be 3. So 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, and 1, 2, 3. Now I'm going to take my green marker out so I can draw in the circle. The circle is going to look like connecting over there, connecting over there, there, and there. Within the accuracy of the artist. <laughs> but we can see that the center is at 2 comma negative 1 and the radius is 3. So why don't you try to do this one on your own? Pause the video and try to see if you can find this circle and draw it on some coordinate grid on scratch paper. So assuming you gave it a shot here, this would have a left 3 translation, this would be viewed as a left 1 translation, so we have a center that's located at negative 3, negative 1, which is located right there. For this, the 16th square root is the number 4, and so that's going to be our radius. Our radius is going to be 4. So I'm going to move 1, 2, 3, 4 this way. 1, 2, 3, 4 this way. 1, 2, 3, 4 this direction. And finally, 1, 2, 3, 4 this direction. And those four points, I'm going to now connect them with the green marker, because that's the actual answer for the circle. It's going to go through that point, that point, that point, and that point. And so there's the rough sketch of the circle that's centered at negative 3, negative 1, and has a radius of 4.